took the new roller out for a test today and uh, missed a couple of fish, but then got my eye in. So yeah. Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday once again, if you're seeing this, uh, what I'm about to go do and use has gone well, so that's pretty much if it's a huge failure, this video won't be coming out, but um, you'll see what's happening when I'm in the water. As I get ready for this little swim, um, I'll just follow up last, last, uh, the last time, last week, I got the, a spine from that snapper I shot in my thumb. And last night, so six nights later, I had a good poke around with a needle in there and this freaking snapper spine came out. So while I get ready, I'll uh, drop you a couple of Instagram story clips from it. I was giving you the so far so good report but I'm not um, I ripped a little goat fish off took a huge chunk out of the top of them it was actually not a bad shot and I've just missed a Johnny so obviously with the chain to gun I don't actually know where it's well I mean of course the goat fish was a little higher and I just missed a Johnny I don't know where I missed a Johnny the viz is terrible you guys probably aren't seeing much well it's not terrible but it's certainly not good um, Obviously just trying to find some fish, might have to resort to sort of like a goatfish perori thing just to get my eye in. There's a shorter overhang on this gun and it's a shorter gun overall and of course it's a roller so just going to have to work it out. <laughs> So good. Two kawaii and a snapper on the line. 
overall pretty happy with this gun to be to be perfectly honest I've got a burly down here which has a few panties hanging around with it I'm gonna check the earlier one but I'm pretty much done I've sort of seen and felt enough today um, you know got some got some food for the week so uh, yeah another look or two down here I'd, I mean obviously I'd like a good fish now and um sort of start swimming back to the shore Well, so I had a bloody good swim out there. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty fishy. That spot usually is. It's usually a bit of a backup sort of last resort spot. Um, I had a lot of snap around this morning. Never saw a big one. Never saw anything over probably four pound today, three pound even. Um, but pretty much just perfect conditions for what I was going for. I, I, I think I said at the start of the day, I can't even play, remember if it was to you guys or to Danny that it'd be cool to find a couple car line and things like that are things that you know you can shoot that are not the easiest things to shoot because they're usually moving um, and I found exactly that obviously as I mentioned I had a goatfish high right at the start and then just cold Mr Johnny so I sort of put a lot of uh, attention and focus into where I was actually aiming and that seemed to sort it out because my shots got better and better as, as I went on so um, five fish in total which is a lot of fish that's enough fish I wasn't shooting anymore got Johnny right at the end in a really un unexpected spot so um, I mean I'm going to give you a quick little look over the gun as soon as I'm back home and um, pretty much wrap up the video with that I would say <laughs> Radio, so there's the catch from today. Johnny, couple of snaps, couple of kahawai, and um, here's the gun. We're not going to get too in depth with it today because she's pretty rough. It was a real mock up just to get it going, see what I think. Um, it is based, we I have got a name for it, it's called the Ralpo because it's basically stopped styled off my my Alpo model of gun with uh, for the roller, of course. Um, there's not a lot of changes from my normal stuff. All is this this particular one. I've got a Neptonics mech in there because I'm just trying to get rid of some Neptonics uh, mechs at the moment. Handle. I've got a small hunt reel on there. Now that fits, there's 35 metres of 2mm Dyneema on there. So it's all sort of to go hand in hand with the compact, um, you know, lightweight use of it that I wanted to sort of try to stick with with this it is a 100 so it's actually shorter it's obviously shorter than my 110 and it's also running a standard 90 shaft in it so the overhangs less and that sort of probably took the biggest thing to get used to out there was with sort of you know 100 mil less overhang your whole perspective on how you're looking at the gun is different um and that's got a 7 mil that's a 7 mil shaft really sort of nice setup it i'm running 14 mil bands um I can probably get away with quite a bit more pretension as of now. Um, obviously, some roller wheels and all this. A lot of the stuff on the muzzle is made with my fin off cuts. So when we make, when I make the fins, you've got a square panel of composite that's then cut into fins. So you have a lot of off cut. I would intend to stick with that. Um, like I said, all of this this gun itself is pretty rough and is, is, has all been done kind of by hand and eye and nothing was really measured. There's going to be a lot of tweaks, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know, I'm obviously going to keep you guys updated. Uh, 
I'm going to run this roller. That's probably going to be my go-to now, my daily gun for a while. And obviously see what happens, see how the parts last, you know, everything like that. Obviously the shaft dynamo, all the gear on it um, itself it will be fine. The composite in here is very strong because it's out of like the heels of the fins and things like that. Um, yeah. I mean, overall, overall I'm pretty happy. I didn't know what to think. I sort of went into it with no no real um thought process or opinion and i've come back pretty happy with it it moves around on the water well and it shoots very well so um there's no lack of power there so i'll keep you updated that's it for this video i've got some fish to fill it i'm sam price i'll see you at the beach